The new age of Philippine basketball has begun. At yung gagawin ko every week is summarize what happened from Monday to Sunday, anything related to basketball in the Philippines. Trust me, this is unlike any recap video you have watched. Okay game, Monday. Well, this game actually happened Sunday last week but this deserves a special mention since it's our national team. To put it simply, the Philippines gave Chinese Taipei a beating they will never forget as they won 106 to 53. Kai Soto had 18, 10, and 5, asserting his dominance over the undersized front line of the opponents. He was blocking shots left and right, facilitating from the low block, and overall played a lot more loose under the guidance of Coach Tim Cohn. Speaking of Coach Tim, he had this to say after the game regarding Kaiju. He is going to absolutely dominate Asia. I, I just, I've always felt that. If you get him in the, the right spots, he can absolutely dominate Asia. Justin Brownlee, on the other hand, loves being back at home and just playing basketball again in the Philippines after being suspended for three months for failing a doping test after the Asian Games. He finished the evening with 26 points, 13 rebounds, and 5 assists, electrifying the crowd whenever he has the ball. And tingnan natin saan maglalaro muna si Magic Brownlee bago lumaban ulit para sa bayan for the OQT. Overall, Kai Soto gave credits once again to this new Gilas system kung saan napagkatitwalaan siya ng minutes and, and in return, getting a ton of confidence. Para sa player, kapag binigyan ka lang malaking uh, role ng uh, coach mo, kapag binagkatiwalaan ka, binigyan ka lang minuto, talagang sky high yung confidence mo sa player. And, uh, hindi man yung sabihin mo na parapan sa akin, pero alam mo, malaking tiwala sa akin, coach mo, malaking tiwala ako sa kanya. Best part dito sa ganda na pinakita ng Gilas, nakakuha tayo ng invitations to scrimmage against the top European teams such as Czech Republic, Lithuania, and the Luka Doncic led Slovenia. This is a testament to how much a program has garnered attention at sana i-televise nila yung mga scrimmage nyo. Tuesday, big three team trade that happened in the PBA. As usual, a lot of fans didn't like it since, since they thought that NLEX didn't receive much for the deal. But Ato Ular at 6'5 seems like he has a lot of potential and that first round pick could be a blessing in disguise in the future. TNT shorts up its front court with BGR who is a mobile and quality big man to have. Blackwater on the other hand gets Tungkab who's been an underrated 6'4 guard and adds depth plus quality in the guard position for the bossing who now have Rey Nambatak as well as their lead point man. Wednesday we welcome back the PBA for its all-Filipino conference. First up, the new and revamped Blackwater Bossing who traded for Reyna Batak, na sinabi ko lang kanina, and signed James Yap for this year up against the Chris Newsom-led Meralco Bolts. Speaking of the Stingray, he had a debut to remember with numbers of 27 points, dishing out 10 assists and 5 rebounds. He is finally free from the shackles of Rain or Shine and is playing his own game here with the Bossing. He only scored 2 points in the first half, but the second half, was where he exploded and scored 25 of his 27 points. Shout out as well to the Rook, Christian David, for this transition slam. Jolo Mendoza also makes his first appearance for the Meralco Bolts who chose him over Diego Dario in the last part of the roster. Down by 17 midway in the fourth, Meralco showed that they will not go down into the night but will make this a dogfight till the final buzzer. It's the Alain Maliksi show as he nailed tough jumpers to will his team back from the dead. Feel it! Look at put him back up to three. But in the end, Blackwater escapes, winning 96-93, shocking the bolts. We now move on to the TNT Tropangiga vs. Raynor Shine Elasto Painters. In this game, we welcome back Chot Reyes, who has missed the past few conferences recovering from his stint in being the Gila's head coach. Roger Pogoy kicked things off with this game, making four of his three pointers in the first quarter alone. Calvin of Tana, despite coming from national team duties, still managed to put up a cool 23 points and 14 rebounds and making tough plays look easy. This was also Brandon Ganuela's roster's first game with a Tropangiga and he made sure to leave a lasting impact on the floor with 15 points and 14 rebounds in 29 minutes of action without much training yet with TNT. But the X-Factor for TNT is none other than Kim Aurin, who at 21 points has shot a blistering 5 for 7 from downtown. In fact, Aurin and Pogoy shot a combined 9 for 12 as Rain or Shine struggled to contain them all game long. For the last two painters though, it was a rookie by the name of Adrian Nokum who gave Coach Chot the biggest headache as he put up 20 points, 4 assists, 2 rebounds, and speed that looked like a young Jason Castro back in the day. This kid will definitely have a bright future indeed. He is making incredibly tough shots such as this and the former MPBL San Juan star is finally making his impact in the PBA. Hindi rin natin pwede kalimutan si Andre Karakut na bawa taon under Coach Yang Giao. He just manages to exceed expectations. 
He finishes the evening with 15 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists. Yung 5th pick ng 2021 draft na si Leonard Santillan who has earned the trust of Coach Yang and gave him a cool double-double of 20 points, 11 rebounds, and 26 minutes of playing time. Very efficient. This step back three was smooth as ice as well. Down for majority of the game, the fort is where the experience and, and veteran savviness of TNT shined as Jason Castro finds BGR from behind to trim the lead down to two. Soon after, Calvin of Tana showed us why he's the number one option for Tropang Giga courtesy of this five point swing which gave TNT some extra cushion against ROS. TNT wins 108-107 to but they didn't cover the opening spread of minus 2.5. After the game, media interviewed Coach Shot and he has this to say. With the team, uh, whether it's in practice or in games, so it wasn't like I was uh, ever, uh, really ever away. Coach Yang outside the house of Inares said that he has high hopes this conference for his team and expects them to mature fast. Mature quicker. Sabi ko nga, mataas ang ambisyon namin dito sa conference nito, baka... Since nothing significant happened on Thursday, we now move to Friday for yet another double header in the PBA. First up is a battle of two rebuilding teams in the Terra Firma Jeep and Converge Fiber Xers. Right off the bat, he proved in this game that he wasn't satisfied with last conference's performance and to prove the doubters wrong. Stephen Holt stayed in Manila the whole time after their season ended and did not return home to the US so that he can train all day long. The results of that training definitely showed up in the first game as he tallied the career high 27 points, 10 assists, 4 rebounds, and shot 12 of 17 from the field. Tinapon na lahat ng converge para mapigil siya pero wala rin nangyari. Di rin natin pwede hindi pag-usapan si Wami Chongson, also known as Magic Chongson. 30 big points in 37 minutes all while proving that him being chosen as a first time all-star in Bacolod is no fluke and that he deserves it. From a PBA D-League player to now one of the Philippines' best guards, what a journey it has been. Converge, on the other hand, continued to build around their young star center in Justin Aranya. What 18 points, 6 rebounds, the 9 turnovers were a bit concerning but that's because he was the center of attention on the jib defense. Alex Stockton did his best as well to keep the fiber extras afloat with 18 points of his own in 22 minutes of action only. In the end, the jib get win number 1 with a score of 107-99 to in what looks like a promising season. Now this was my favorite game last Friday, NLEX Road Warriors vs the Northport Batang Pier. For NLEX it's the debut of Basse Ramer who was a former Blackwater guard and Ato Olar who came in the BGR trade that I mentioned a while ago. While for Northport it's our first time to see Xavier Lucero back after his ACL injury with the UP Fighting Maroons and the ever dangerous Will Navarro who suffered the same injury last year. As predicted this was a battle that stayed close till the end. Robert Bollick was the clear cut option. For Enlex as he had 31 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, looking like Steph Curry with his outfit here inside the Araneta Coliseum, and nailing the toughest of shots considering that there are always two guys marking him. The Rook, Enoch Valdez, has shown tremendous growth as well ever since being drafted just a few months ago as he was fearless all throughout and gave coach Frankie Lim 16 points, 9 rebounds in 34 minutes of playing time. For the Batam Pier, Arvin Tolentino is showing us why he deserves a spot in the future of Gilas as he racked up 29 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, including this tough in-your-face 3-pointer that sent the game to overtime. Dave Lucero, on the other hand, didn't look like a rookie if you ask me. He blocked 4 shots in his debut and disrupted a lot of the offensive flow that NLEX wanted to run. At 6'6", he will be a big problem for the league and a blessing for Northport. Will Navarro, in 34 minutes, gave us a double-double of 12 points and 13 rebounds. It made me realize that him, Save Lucero, Arvin Tolentino, and Joshua Munzon can take this team far in the playoffs once their chemistry gels. In the end game, though, an unlikely hero in Dave Marcelo got the Robert Bollick miss 3 and 1 layup to make it a 4 point game, 104 to 100. Tolentino tried to replicate the same heroics he did in the fourth, but this time it was well defended and turned into an air ball. This resulted to Babe's Bollick getting the ball, finding an open Tony Semeral on the other end. Game over. Enlex has escaped the pesky but fun to watch Batang Pier, 107 to 100. First game is between the Blackwater Bossing and TNT Tropangiga. Both teams are 1 0 heading into this matchup, but the results are not what you expected. The Bossing continue to surprise us early here in the All Filipino Conference as they are led by RKA Lagan with 15.7 rebounds and 8 assists in an all around effort. 
He controlled the pace of the game so well which forced TNT to play Blackwater style of basketball. Neres back naman siya ng 4-time PBA All-Star in Troy Rosario who had 20 points and 6 rebounds to stick it to his former team. According to Jeff Carriazzo in the post-game interview, Rosario is their main guy and the one setting the culture for his young teammates. For TNT, it was just Calvin of Tan who showed up in this game with 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. The rest of his teammates though looked like they needed a nap as Roger Pogoy, Kim Aurin, and BGR were all out of it and had bad outings in the 3pm game. Blackwater gave TNT a wake-up call after blowing them out in the second half and getting a convincing 87-76 to victory. The bossing continued to cover the spread with plus 8 before the start of the match and also getting the money line. The main event of the day was capped off by Raynor, Shine, and Meralco who are both 0-1 in their opening day games. Both teams searching for that first win. Although, I have to talk about how great of a rookie Adrian Nokum is. He looked like a future PBA superstar and a point guard that style of play is perfect for the league. He had a career high of 29 points along with 5 rebounds and 2 assists as he kept the balls on their heels he'll steal the final buzzer. Santi Santillan did his best to back up the super rookie as he played close to 43 minutes and tallied 25.7 rebounds and 4 assists. On the side of the ball, 6 players scored in double digits, with Alain Maliksi leading the way with 26 points. Although, it was these two guys here who kept Maralco from losing their control of the game and sent it to overtime. 29 to 10. Wow. Coming off the bench and... On the attack. What a fight to Norbert Torres. Norbert sidestep 3. Oh, and he gives the lead back to the Morocco Bolts! From there, it's Bonquinto who took over, scoring 5 points of his 16 and the finishing touches by none other than Alain Maliksi. The Bolts escape Adrian Nokum and Rainer Shine, 121 to 117. Another afternoon game with Terra Firma versus Enlex. As always, we got the Wami Chongson show who kept up with one of the best guards in the PBA in Robert Bollick as he put up 21 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. He also got help from Javi Gomez Deliano who had 18 points and Steven Holt proving that his team will get a better version of him this conference with an all-around effort of 17 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals. In yet another upset, Terra Firma iced the game in the last 58 seconds courtesy of free throws by Isaac Go and JP Calvo. So according to tiebreak, Times. The last time Terra Firma be began 2-0 was in the 2016 Governor's Cup when the franchise then known as Mahindra went on a 4-0 start under the then coach Chris Gavina. It was also the only time that the team reached the playoffs. It is also the first time ever that the Bossing and the Jeep are both 2-0 in the standings according to league stats Chief Fidel Mangonon. That is some crazy stuff. And ito yung mga gusto ko sa PBA. So last game for this week had a wild ending as well. Converge versus Northport. The story of this game was that Northport was playing catch up and even fell behind by as much as 18 points against the Fiber Xers. They needed overtime to eventually get the W. But this was a test of character for this team. Who are looking to barge into the playoffs in this conference. Joshua Munzon kickstarted the rally with 17 points, 6 rebounds, 6 steals, and 2 blocks. And from there, Arvin Tolentino took on the scoring load, making his case as one of the best players in this conference as he put up 31 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 steals. And of course, my favorite young prospect, Will Navarro, rounding it up for Northport with 16 points, 11 rebounds, 3 blocks, and a steal. For Converge, Justin Arana did his best by becoming their main focal point as he had 25 points and 13 rebounds. But again, too much turnovers with 8. With not much time, Alex Stockton sent the game to overtime with this big 3 and finished the evening with 27 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists. In overtime, it was all Northport as they marched on to victory and finally got out of the woods with a score of 112-104. to Subscribe for more and let me know in the comments if you like. Peace!